This is Long Toss with Louie. Hey fans, welcome back to another episode of Long Toss with Louie. Today's special guest is Matt Hernandez. This fella right here is lucky enough to be my roommate for two years. Hey, I'm Matt Hernandez, like Louie said. Uh, long time listener, first time visitor on the show. Thanks for having me, Loon. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you, Hernie. Oh. <laughs> I just saw you this morning. Glad but Yeah, hey, and fans, we're located this week in... The old study hall room, it's not very big and not very cozy. It's kind of like being in solitary confinement, if you ask me. But uh, it, we're in here because it's finals week this week, and uh, it came up pretty quick on us. I think we need to catch up on some studying. What do you A look at last week in Cougars baseball. The Cougars beat the University of Louisiana at Lafayette on Tuesday night, 6-4. to four. What do you have on that game, Hernie? Uh, it was it was a very exciting game. Uh, it was a really big win for us moving forward going into the weekend. Uh, they had a really uh, high powered offense. Uh, I think they were third in the nation in batting average, and also had the were they leading in home runs too, right? Yeah, they were yeah, leading in home runs as well. well as slugging percentage too. So they were really a strong offensive team, and they they pitched pretty well too. Mm -hmm. Our pitching that game was pretty outstanding. What do you think about Jake Lemoyne? Uh, he did really well. He picked up his sixth win of the season. Uh, he and our pitching staff also held the uh, the Raging Cajuns to only four hits. Four it's hits, really and, impressive. Yeah. And Chase Welbrock also picked up his first save of the week that on Tuesday's game. The Cougars traveled to Tulane University this weekend, picking up series victories on Friday and Sunday. Um, the the Cougars pitched pretty well on Friday night. Daniel Ponce de Leon picked up a win, as well as Chase Welbrock picked up another save for this week. And uh, they also picked up another win on Sunday with um, Aaron Garza on the mound. Hernie, are you, are you paying attention here? Oh, sorry, I just found out finals were this week. <laughs> I told I you before. Get books. All right, yeah, you better get to studying. Right, not right, now, though. Yeah. Not now, after the show. All right, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so um, Sunday's game. You know, Aaron Garza pitched. You know, um, Caleb Barker also hit two clutch doubles, um, and I believe uh, that you picked up the win, huh? Yeah, uh, it was it was a really exciting game. Uh, like from the first inning, uh, I mean, it was a really hostile environment. You know, everything was oh, yeah, on the, the line. fans are the fans are especially, pretty brutal, especially since it was the rubber game too. Uh, you know, uh, Garza did an outstanding job uh, holding them to. I guess two runs through seven uh, through six innings, yep. and um, yeah, Caleb that was clutch. He had two clutch hits, but uh, yeah, it was. And you did a great job. Uh, you had an I know an outstanding play where you fielded your position well and got the guy out at home. And yeah. great job this weekend on uh, Sunday picking up that win. Yeah, I really want a fat head of that picture of me just you know making that play. Put it on the wall, maybe in the <laughs> That'd apartment. That'd be pretty neat. I put yeah. it right over your bed you or something. Put it in my bed. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Look ahead at this week in Cougars baseball. The Cougars are 30 and 18 this season. That's pretty impressive, I think. They also continue their season series with uh, McNeese State on Tuesday night. We travel to McNeese, and that's I believe in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And also we uh, we play at home this week against UAB. Uh, make sure that we get all the fan support we can get. Yeah, we really would. Uh like to have a, I mean, as many people as we can come out support us as we start going down this uh, stretch of two uh, home week series, and it'd be great to have a lot of people out there and uh, supporting the Cougs. I always love to have a great fan base. Exactly. Hey, Cougs fans! Did you know that Frankie Ratcliffe is number two in the nation for triples with seven? Wow, that's a lot of triples. We're also twenty. Uh, we also have twenty-two triples on the year, which is five away from the uh, pr the all-time record for the Houston Cougars. Uh, which was set back in 1990. Uh, that was before we were born, a year before we were born. Yes, it was. That record is at 27, if you can't do the math. <laughs> also, the Cougars' 30-win season this year is the first 30-win uh, season since 2008. Yeah, we got to keep it rolling, and we're definitely not done yet. Oh, no, we are not done. Not even close. Hey, fans, did you know that me and, me and old Herney here have... Uh, I mentioned earlier we were roommates, but the funny story is... The first two weeks when we moved into our apartment, we didn't have we didn't have cable or internet or nothing to do. Yeah. And uh, this guy told me that he didn't like playing video yeah. games, so we just basically sat and bonded a little bit, got to know each other. And uh, ever since we got internet, this guy's he told me that he never played video games before in his life. Ever since that day, 
He's been playing video games <laughs> every day. That's, exa- that's like actually what I'm going to go do after this, after my final, of course. <laughs> you got to get that final taken yeah. care of. <laughs> All right, man. It was good good doing the show with you. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'll see you later back at the crib. I'll huh? see you tonight also. <laughs> right. I believe I have are, you cooking, are you cooking dinner? Uh, I don't know. You held on to my hand kind of long there. But I believe I have your information, so I guess we'll figure it out. So All right, yeah, text me later. later. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Thanks, Cougs, for tuning in this week. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Thank